vindicated. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so uh, yesterday I called Tesla, called the Tesla uh, in Highland Park, Illinois, spoke with a man named John. Hi, John. And uh, I had a couple of specific questions for him. Primarily, I was curious about about state of charge and uh, just basic charging questions. And uh, basically what it boils down to is I've noticed some pretty drastic fluctuations in uh, my, my car's stated range versus percentage of, of state of charge. So I typically charge my car to 80% and uh, every morning and there are days that I'll go out and see 254 miles of range that was like that for the longest time then I noticed that it was 250 miles and then it was 252 and then it was the lowest I've seen was 245 and then I've seen 247 and it's all over the map and then back up over 250 again and and always stopping at 80 percent and I would check I would go into the display and check uh, battery percentage versus battery range because sometimes it wouldn't stop at 80% it was charging to 83% even though I had it set to stop at 80% it's just all these this weirdness is going on with the charging so uh, John told me that he put in a ticket and have uh, have Tesla do a uh, an internal battery capacity test of my car so he said this is gonna take all day he'll call me at the end of the day which he did and he said, well, he said, we did an, an internal battery capacity test on your car. And he said, um, we can't give you the exact numbers. He said, uh, I can tell you that your car is one of the highest internal capacity, battery capacities um, among the least degradation of the Model 3 fleet. So um, I, he, said, um, he said, for example, uh, he's got a Performance 3 that's a year old and he's got uh, about 5% battery loss on his car when they did a test. And he said, he said, my car is, it's far less than that. And he, so he said, your, your battery capacity is very, very high internal capacity. And um, so, and I'll get, I'll get to what I mean by I'm vindicated here in just a minute. But he said that the, uh, the algorithm that they use to read the the uh, range for the car and that he said Tesla has been been sort of um, messing with that and there's been some firmware changes in that and he mentioned that there's also a couple of bugs related within the the software related to uh, charging and, and battery capacity and, and that that they're working on correcting so he said to kind of ignore the the miles that it says he, he's well he didn't say to ignore it but basically he said look he said the as I've seen my battery capacity fluctuate he said don't don't really look at that that's not an internal you know chemical reaction within my battery that's making my battery capacity go up or down he said that's a firmware thing bug that they're working on uh, and then he said that uh, where I'm vindicated he said that when I was talking to him uh, pretty much right off the bat, he said, uh, you're the tech forum guy. Oh my gosh. He's one of the first few people to actually kind of recognize me or know who I am. So, which I thought was interesting, but he said, um, he then kind of ended the phone call by saying, he says, I, I watch your videos and he says, you're absolutely right about the 80-20 uh, rule and uh, to charge to 80% and then not discharge it below 20% to get the best longevity out of the battery. Now, I also asked him about high discharge rate because I told him, I said, a number of my viewers have asked that, uh, viewers that drive performance threes have asked why their, their uh, range seems to be lower than others. And, uh, and I, I said to him, I said, you know, I work with rechargeable batteries and I know that if you pull high current from the battery repeatedly, you will accelerate the battery degradation process somewhat. And he said that is true. And that was when he told me that he has a Performance 3 and he said that he, he drives it hard, he hammers it all the time. 
and at a year old he's at about five percent battery loss so uh so that's i've been i've been telling i've been saying this on my channel for some time that charging 80 percent and staying above 20 percent so in that 60 percent range that that is optimal for the battery uh, not that you can't invade the top 20 percent and you can't invade the bottom 20 percent uh, but you shouldn't do it every day if you don't need to and if you're going to if you're going to go above 80 percent charge then drive the car right away take it out you know only charge only peak above that when you know you're going to leave right away so unplug it and drive it right away and if you're going to go below 20 percent make sure you as soon as you're done driving you plug it in right away to to, to keep the amount of time above 80 percent and the amount of time below 20 percent to a minimum and that will help increase the longevity of the battery so he said i've watched your videos and he said you're you're absolutely right and he said keep telling this you know keep explaining it keep sharing it on the channel because he said it's it's important he said you, know, you can again you can invade the top and bottom 20 percent of the battery but he said just it is true that for ultimate longevity you will see you know better battery degradation numbers less degradation over time if you treat the battery well and he told me he said it's because of the way you're treating your battery that your capacity is so high and I mean I've got 54,000 miles almost 55,000 miles on this car and yet I have less battery degradation than most he said I'm at the at the top of the the cream of the crop as far as the uh, uh, internal battery capacity specifically because of the way I treat my battery so I know people argue, one person had recently said on one of my videos, oh, the 80-20 rule just means you're supposed to leave, uh, you're, you can use 80%, you're supposed to leave the top 10 and the bottom 10% of the battery, so a total of 20% of the battery for better longevity. Well, that's true and it's false. If you drive your car down to 0%, which is almost impossible, but if you drive it to 0% and charge to 100%, that's harder on the battery than discharging to 10% and charging up to 90. Obviously, using, you know, staying between 90% and 10% is going to be better on the battery than staying between 0 and 100%, but in the same way, staying between 20% and 80% is easier on the battery than staying between 90% and 10%. So it's um and yes, there is a little bit of a buffer. I I know that uh People bring this up all the time that in times of crisis, Tesla will increase your range electronically. So there is some battery capacity, whether it be at the top or the bottom or both, that is protected. I don't know if it's a couple percent or something like that, but it is still generally true that as I've been preaching since the day I got this car, the 80-20 top out at 80%, stay above 20%, is best for ultimate longevity so you guys can argue with me all you want and I know people in the comments section are still gonna argue about it but I've gotten verification from Tesla directly when they did an internal capacity test of my car and was speaking to somebody that knows my channel and knows what I preach on the channel and I was told that I'm right and that this is why my battery capacity internally is so high so in in parting <laughs> I want to let you guys know that that I was told that this um, this uh, battery charging algorithm bug that's uh, present that Tesla's working on it and it'll be corrected and all of our ranges should kind of stabilize and that the numbers we see on the uh, uh, on the char state of charge here should all kind of equal out. He said um, he's you know a lot of people aren't you know hadn't seen that 310 to 325 bump and you know some people are complaining that they're at you know 300 and you know five miles of range on a full charge you know or whatever but if you do an internal battery capacity test those numbers are askew in fact he uh, one example he gave me he said it's not always that it reads too low sometimes higher he said you know he said one time i parked my car i was at 80 percent when i went into a store came out and it said 83 percent it's like I work at you know I work at Tesla and I, I understand these things and yet that was weird to me that having the car parked not plugged in it went up three percent so he goes yeah there's a there's a uh, a bug 
in the software that that makes the numbers a little bit on the screwy side so he's like you're not losing range you're fine just keep driving the car and um, so anyway long-winded uh, video for today but I wanted to share that with you guys so uh, don't attack me in the comments section I'm just saying that I uh, my position on this has been uh, been verified by Tesla that this is best for ultimate life of your battery so anyway you guys have yourselves a wonderful day if you have any questions let me know but uh, don't shoot the messenger I'm just telling you what I was told so anyway have a great day guys take it easy oh I think I'm opening a can of worms here <laughs>